Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I have decided to build a 3D printer and this is the first part of the series where I will design it. My software of choice is Blender because it is open source, free of cost and extremely versatile. While its main purpose is not precision CAD modeling, we can make some tweaks to adapt it to a precision workflow. This won't be a tutorial on setting up Blender for precision but I will quickly go over the settings and add-ons that I will be using. If you want to learn how to use Blender for precision modeling, Maker Tales is an excellent channel with high quality content and detailed tutorials so check it out. The first thing we need to take care of is the units. By default, Blender is set to meters but for the scale we will be working with, millimeters is more appropriate. To change this we need to head over to the Scene Properties tab and select Millimeters. We will also have to change the scale from 1 to 0.001. You will see the grid has disappeared. That's because the scale of the grid is still at 1 so we need to change that as well. We can access that from the Overlays menu. We need to set the grid scale to the same value as the unit's scale. That completes the unit setting but because we have changed the scale we need to adjust one more value. You will see that the clipping is 1000 mm. By default it was at 1000 m but now it is very small and you can see the effect that has. We can increase it to something like 10,000 and clipping start to 1 mm. If you want to make renders, you will have to change the clipping values in the camera settings as well. Moving on to the add-ons, for precision modeling we need tiny CAD and edit mesh tools. They are built in and can be activated from the add-ons menu. I have also downloaded and installed CAD Transforms which is a free add-on and very useful for precision movements. And with that we are now ready to finally start modeling. The first thing I need to model are the 2020 and 2040 aluminum extrusions, which I will be using for the printer frame. So let's bring in a reference image and get to work. The reference image is very bright and distracting so I like to set the opacity at 0.5. Let's bring in a circle, go to edit mode by pressing tab M for merge and select merge at center, so we are left with a single vertex. We will make use of the mirror modifier so we just need to model one quarter of the extrusion. From the reference we can see that the inner hole is surrounded by a square and if you check the measurements. The inner square is 7.8 mm. We need half of that, so let's extrude the vertex to make a square with each side 3.9 mm. Now let's add in a circle for the center hole with a radius of 2.5 mm and set the sides to 16. Then delete three sides of the circle. Let's subdivide this edge. Set the snapping mode to vertex. Then select this, hold control to enable snapping, and slide the vertex to the other one. Let's do the same for this remaining vertex. Then press M, merge by distance, and you will see vertices removed. Let's delete this edge as we don't need it. Now we will add another single vertex and move it by 10 in the X, then 10 in the Y.
extrude it out as per the measurements from the reference image to get the required shape. Select these two vertices and press F to join them. The thickness of this part is 1.5 so here we will use the Edit Mesh Tools add-on for the Offset Edge feature. Offset the edge by 0.75 in both directions. Extrude and reposition these vertices so the edges are overlapping. Now we can use the Intersect Edges tool in TinyCAD. After cleanup and merging by distance, select All with A and press F to make a face. Then apply the mirror modifier. You can now extrude on the Z axis to the required size. The 2040 extrusion can be modeled using a similar approach. And there you have it. You can download the blend file from the link in the description and use the model in your projects. That's it for this video and in the next one I will use these extrusions to design the frame of my 3D printer. Thanks for watching and see you soon.